Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with OurReviews.com. Today, I just wanted to show everybody the Power Edge 1950 server, the Dell Power Edge 1950, that I run ESXi on to virtualize Windows 10 and Windows 7. Um, this is what we use when we're doing the Is This a Scam show. This is what all the scammers remote into. Um, the VMs are on here. There is another server down there. We don't use that one for the stream anymore. That one's a 2004 Dell Power Edge 1750, so it's only a 32-bit system, so it can't run ESXi 6.5. This one's 64-bit, so it can. It's got two Intel Xenons in it, um, 2.66 gigahertz apiece, with 4 gigabytes of RAM total, which is getting ready to be upgraded to hopefully 16, um, at least 8, um, 16 if everything works out well. On the front here, we have a display which actually you can customize it is scrolling is this this cam across the front because I just set it to that um, pretty funny it does have a DVD ROM drive but power button is here um, the screen like I said you can go to the BIOS and you can customize what scrolls there that's also what shows errors if there are any um, when I open it up to show you it will actually pop an error up because it's opened so I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off and show you what I've done so in here there used to be um, a spot that would hold, I think, four 2.5-inch drives, but I only had a 3.5-inch drive, so I cut that out with some wire snips, and I got this uh, connector here. It's just SATA to SATA um, to plug in a 3.5 drive. I have since gotten a 2.5-inch drive, so it just sits in there. Um, this is where you could plug in the four, four drives, one, two, three, four. Um, so it worked like that. I think you could also use... 3.5 inch sash drives um, you could use two of those so it was either two of those or four 2.5 inch drives I'm pretty sure is what it was but I did a little modifying to fit that one in there right here's the board for the the front uh, panel and everything like that as you can see the the backlight is flashing because we have an error that is just because it is opened which if you look it'll scroll through this and then it'll show you the error um, if there was actually an error, like an error code, not an information code, it would show, it would just scroll that continuously, it wouldn't show the name. Um, but you can see intrusion right there because it's opened. We have 12 fans. It's one, in, one intake, one intake, and then one exhaust. So there's one, two, three, four per set. And these are in sets of two. So you can lift these out to either clean them or replace them. Everything's really easy to replace in this. The fan's just plugged in down there on the board, so you can just unplug it and snap another one in there. So that can be done in a matter of minutes. So you have four sets, two fans each, and then an intake and exhaust for a total of 12 actual blades. So it gets pretty loud. Um, under here we have the processor, processor 2, processor 1. We have the memory right here. So there are eight. Um, slots, four, or no, yeah, two of them are filled up right now. Hopefully going to fill four of them if everything works out. Back here we have the two power supplies. It's redundant, so one can fail and it will still run. Um, you can see they're both plugged in back there. Um, so power supply one is right here, power supply two is right here. They slide out the back. On the 1750, they actually, um, they're lined up along the side, so you just slide it and lift it out. Um, right here we have the RAID battery. Oop, right here we have the RAID battery. It plugs in, um, it goes up under here, plugs in right here. So that's, uh, it recharges when the system's plugged in or running, um, and it is replaceable if it ever wears out. I haven't had any problems with it yet, so we should be good. Um, but you do have SAS 0 and then SAS 1, so you can, I think, have two of these plugged in. I'm not too sure how that works, but there is another connector for another one. I just don't know where it would go, um, but that's how it came like that. Um, but I did all that modifying to cut that out. There is also two internal USB ports under this plastic cover. I'm not going to take it off because it's a pain in the butt to unsnap. Um, but there's two internal USB ports on there. So for running ESXi, you can actually put it on a flash drive. And you can actually plug it into the internal USB port and boot it from there like it's a hard drive. And you can keep your VMs on the hard drive and not have to worry about mixing them up. And then you still have your, your front ports free. And people can't just come along and unplug the, the USB um flash drive with the ESXi stuff on it and shut your system down. So that's pretty good. But this one it was made in 2008. Like I said, it's a Dell PowerEdge uh, 1950. 
it supports up to I think 32 gigabytes of RAM. I don't know how much hard drive, how many um, you can put four hard drives in here, but I don't know what the size limit is on each of them. So it's a pretty nice system. I paid sixty dollars for it on eBay. Not bad at all for the price, but that's what we use for the stream. This has been Colin with Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more. As always, have a great day and happy holidays.